Hello, 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 and welcome back to episode number 21, my FSX Fight Simulator FS Economy Career Mode. In today's fight, we are currently at Andoya Airbase, Norway, and we're going to be carrying one aircraft mechanic, one fishing game warden, one expeditionist, two land surveyors, a wildlife conservationist, a crate of ammo, two kegs of beer, a cabin renter, and a rafter. Quite a mixed bag. And we're going to be taking the lease to Bordeaux. We're all going to be travelling in a Cessna 208. I've already rented the aircraft. It's got a registration number of November 208 Mike November. Currently fueled up with 157 gallons of fuel and it's costing me $400 an hour to rent. I've got a current payload of 924 kilos, 11 passengers which leaves two seats available and the total value of all my assignments is $9,647. That's not what we'll be taking because we've got the rental of the aircraft and our fuel cost and we're going to have ground crew fees when we get to Bordeaux but when we get to the end of the video I'll explain all that in my breakdown so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my active sky we're going to look at the weather in Andoya and we're going to look at the weather at Bordeaux with the winds and the weather conditions are then going to determine which runways we take off from and which runways we'll land at so I'll just load up active sky and I'll speak to you again in a moment's time the weather conditions in Andoya currently it's light rain um the outside temperature is three degrees celsius 37 degrees fahrenheit and the surface winds are 19 knots at 210 degrees now this can mean we're either going to take off at runway 15 or we're going to take off at runway 21 which is a shorter runway we've got visibility of 2.4 miles and clouds overcast at a thousand feet and overcast at 1800 from these weather conditions are as of 25 minutes ago so what we'll do now is we'll go and have a look at the weather conditions in Bordeaux. Currently in Bordeaux it's a cloudy day. Outside temperature is 7 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Surface winds are 40 knots at 220 degrees so it's going to be uh, quite a windy landing. So with the wind conditions as they are it looks like we're going to be landing on runway 25. We've got good visibility 10 plus miles. We've got a few clouds at 1500 feet scattered at 2200 feet and broken at 3200 feet so we're expecting quite a bumpy landing which will put the fear of got into a few of these passengers i'm just hoping that crate of ammo doesn't go with a bang what i'll do now is i'll go and sort my route out and then i'll come back to you and we'll have a look at the route on little nav map i'll speak to you again in a moment's time i'll come to little nav map I've just sorted my FSX out, I've just got my aircraft ready. We're going to be on stand 2 at Andoya Airbase. Wind conditions could have us taking off at runway 15, it means it's just a short taxi, or we can be taxiing down to runway 21. We will have to wait to see what ATC tell us at which runway we're going to be taking off from. If we're going to be taking off at runway 15, we're going to be travelling in an east southeast direction, and we'll travel over coast, cross the water, and then we'll come back on ourselves in a west southwest direction pick up our navigation once we're back on course we'll be traveling 32 nautical miles at a heading of 203 degrees so our first waypoint of Unsaw. when we reach Unsaw, we'll be continuing on that 203 degree heading for 16.8 nautical miles to skagen airport where we're going to pick up the uh, dme skg we'll then travel further south for another 40 nautical miles on a heading of 185 we're going to hit the waypoint Ibvis and then we're going to hit the waypoint Ardux. We're going to continue from Ardux in a southerly direction what on a heading of 185 on the standard arrival of into um, Bordeaux. So we're going to hit a waypoint Lanog then another waypoint of Bravo Oscar 618. We're at 6,000 feet. We'll then travel east to hit a waypoint of Beckdy and we're going to be at 5,600 feet there. We'll travel south to pick up the glide slope on a 265 degree head which means we'll have a slight left turn onto runway 25 at Bordeaux. What I'll do is I'll jump in the cockpit and I will get up in the air.
Right, after that bumpy landing, we're back in the FS Economy Terminal. Um, I'll just refresh the page. Uh, the flight's been done now, as you can tell, because there's no aircraft rented, there's no jobs in hold, no assignments. Right, we'll just go to our log, and as you can see, our income was $9,647. I rented the aircraft for 1 hour and 37 minutes at a cost of $649.22. Fuel cost me $255.18, and ground crew fee has cost me $694.70. Booking fee has cost me $1,061.17. That is a grand total of the rental and the additional cost, $2,000. $1,930.27 so that has given us earnings of this flight of $6,716.73 go to our bank and we'll go and put the $6,717 in the bank and that has given us a total of 
$900. Let's go and see what the cheapest Cessna 172 is. Select it by model. Select the Cessna 172. Search it. And we can afford six of them. Problem with them is that they don't leave us no money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another fight. Which will be for Friday. And hopefully after that fight we'll have enough money. And we'll be able to buy the you know these Cessna 172. I'll just go into my home. Don't forget if you like what you see. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification for any further videos. And give me a great big fat thumbs up it really does help me out and with that i will bid you farewell and happy flightings bye bye